the present path LDM text conditioned latent diffusion model for histopathology. Diffusion models require conditioning on labeled data such as text captions or class labels to achieve high quality results. And existing histopathology diffusion models only condition on class labels without the use of text. Histopathology data is multimodal in nature with whole slide images often accompanied by a pathologist text report. These reports are rich in clinical information, include detailed descriptions of cell types, disease classification, and other domain-specific insights that pathologists provide. They capture critical contextual information that is complementary to the diffusion model's generation ability and are the perfect candidate for guidance. Our contributions are as follows. We developed PATH LDM, the first text condition latent diffusion model for histopathology image generation. Leveraging GPT, we, we summarize complex pathology reports into concise summaries and use them as effective conditioning for the diffusion model. Our framework achieves a state-of-the-art FID score of 7.64 for text-to-image generation on the TCGA BRCA dataset. And we are the first ones to demonstrate that a bespoke pathology diffusion model can perform significantly better than stable diffusion. Here is an overview of diffusion models. Diffusion models are a class of generative models that transform noise into data distribution. They are comprised of two steps, a forward process that gradually adds Gaussian noise to the data and a reverse process that learns a denoiser function, which is usually a shared neural network. Performing this diffusion process on high dimensional data, such as high resolution image synthesis can be computationally challenging. To tackle this issue, Latent diffusion models bifurcate the diffusion model training into two phases. They first use a variational autoencoder to take the images from pixel space to a compressed latent space. And then they use a diffusion model to perform the actual diffusion process in this compressed latent space. To guide the diffusion model, they use an auxiliary network that provides the conditioning information. Here is an overview of our method. We first start with a whole slide image and an accompanying pathologist text report. Leveraging GPT, we summarize the slide level pathologist report into a concise summary. We crop the whole slide image into non-overlapping patches of 256 by 256 pixels. The slide level report describes features observed across the whole slide image which might not be visible in each individual patch. Using pre-trained classifiers, we compute the presence of tumor and tumor infiltrating lymphocyte for each patch and fuse them with the slide level summary, creating enhanced captions. Tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or TILs are white blood cells that have left the bloodstream and migrated towards the tumor. TILs have emerged as a promising biomarker in solid tumors and their presence is associated with better clinical outcomes. This approach of, of fusion effectively combines conditioning information from three distinct sources, creating a synthesis of global and local details. We then use a clip text encoder to process the text summaries. We accommodate, we accommodate summaries of length up to 154 tokens using a, a technique called cyclical positional embedding. And finally, we train the latent diffusion model conditioned on the clip embeddings. Here is how we use GPT to perform the summarization. Pathology reports can be long and unstructured with an average length of 2800 characters. We use GPT 3.5 to summarize these reports, employing a technique called chain of thought prompting. This is a technique that encourages a large language model to break down a complex thought into intermediate steps. We first ask GPT to list out the main points in the report, such as the type of cancer, mention of tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, etc. And once GPT lists out these main points, we then prompt GPT to generate a concise summary based on the previously hashed key information. And we restrict this summary to be of length 75 words or 150 tokens. And moving on to our setup, we utilize an open repository called the Cancer Genome Atlas Program 
or TCGA, which contains whole slide images of various cancer types. And we select 1136 whole slide images from breast invasive carcinoma collection. And from each whole slide image, we extract 256 by 256 patch at 10x magnification. And this results in 3.2 million patches for training. And using GPT, we obtain a single summary per whole slide image. Using pre-trained models, we obtain patch level tumor and tumor infiltrating lymphocyte probabilities for each patch. To assess the impact of different architectural changes on the FID, we first begin with a class conditional latent diffusion model baseline. We exclusively utilize patch level tumor and till probabilities in this baseline without incorporating GPT's text summaries. We first convert the probability values into an ordinal scale using a threshold of 0.5 denoted as low and high. Subsequently, each patch is assigned a class label based on its tumor and till presence. We perform various architectural enhancements to the latent diffusion model. Starting with the variational autoencoder, we observe that employing a VAE with a smaller downsampling factor of 4x instead of the default 8x improves the FID from 48 to 39. We also observe that fine tuning from an ImageNet pre trained unit denoiser enhanced the FID from 39 to 29. And now we aim to assess the benefit of introducing the text summaries. The combination of text reports and patch level statistics significantly reduces the FID from 29 to 10.64. And this improvement outperforms the gains achieved solely through architectural enhancements. Stable diffusion uses the OpenAI clip encoder trained on natural image caption pairs. As an ablation, we use the PLIP encoder, which is a clip model trained on pathology image text pairs. And this further improves the FID to 7.64. To compare our method with other methods, we generate 10,000 synthetic images and compute the FID. We observed that path LDM significantly outperforms other methods by a huge margin and the next best performing method, stable diffusion, achieves an FID of 30.1. We also observed that training med fusion with our text conditioning mechanism improved the FID from 46 to 39, highlighting the efficacy of our text summaries. Here is a qualitative evaluation. We choose a single text report and produce synthetic samples using various methods. The first row contains real samples from the corresponding whole slide image. Samples generated by our method, which are in the second row, are highly realistic and closely resemble the real samples, whereas samples generated by other methods exhibit artifacts, such as the ones indicated by green boxes that are not present in our, me our method. In conclusion, we present PATH LDM, the first latent diffusion model for generating histopathology images conditioned on text. By effectively summarizing complex pathology text reports using GPT, we establish a robust conditioning mechanism that bridges the gap between textual and visual content. Our strategic conditioning, coupled with architectural enhancements, led to a state-of-the-art FID score of 7.64 on the TCGA BRCA dataset. We anticipate that our work will encourage future exploration of domain-specific pathology diffusion models. Thank you for your attention. If you have further questions, please visit our poster on poster session day 2. Our code and train models can be obtained by scanning this QR code.